All right, so here we are uh, at Pivos M Live, and you may recognize this person next to me as Gina Irene from American Idol, but now you're, uh, do, you, do you go by your, see, I'm so confused by your name. Do you go by Gina Irene and then you, like, my last name? Yeah, which I <laughs> want you, you to pronounce. pronounce I want you to pronounce it. <laughs> I, uh, I'm currently going by Gina Irene Ashuto. Okay. Um, right now, I'm just, I, I like the flow of the, the full, the full name. There Even you go. though no one else has it, so I guess that's why I like it. All right, you heard it from, from her. There you go. That's, we got the name portion out of the way. All right, so you are, this is really cool, because there's a really cool event Monday, a concert, all Detroiters, um, you're from Farmington Hills, you still live there, which is great. Um, this is just a cool show. Flint Eastwood, Brittany Stoney. Um, have you seen them, by the way? Flint I Eastwood actually have. Uh, I've seen Flint Eastwood, and Jax is amazing, not only at stage performance, but songwriting as yeah. well. And me, as a songwriter, I'm always trying to look for more inspiration, so she's definitely inspirational to me. Yeah, and speaking of being a songwriter, okay, you came out with Unbreakable last year, your first single, mm -hmm. and uh, you mentioned that you were going to gradually come out with these songs and I believe you know uh, you just finished the new album is that correct I did I just finished the record uh, I worked on it for about a year called cold fame uh, it's coming out later this year I don't have an exact date but it's definitely gonna be later in 2016 um, but my first uh, kind of piece of music that I'm releasing is this EP called innocence in March Okay. I'm so sorry, gonna, April. Oh, April, not March. In April. March. April, Innocence. Well, now what's going to be, what's the difference between Innocence and then the album? So Innocence is an EP, so it's going to be uh, a four, five track um, EP. Okay. And the single is Innocence, obviously. Okay. <laughs> and then there's going to be four other tracks, including the full version of Unbreakable. Okay, so. very cool. Because the video is only <laughs> three and a half minutes long, and the actual song is five minutes long. Oh, so okay. Not many people know that. Okay, now I've watched the video from Breakable a few times, um, which is really cool. Where did you shoot that? Was it local or was Yeah, it... I shot it all in Detroit. That's what I thought, okay. Yeah, we shot on the on top of the Chase building. Top of the Chase yeah, building, okay. I thought it was on top of one of the buildings, but I couldn't tell. And Because the, the, the landscape and the scenery of Detroit changes so much yeah. with all the new construction of buildings all the time, it's hard to tell sometimes. Right. Well, that's so cool. It was so fun. Now, are you going to shoot any of your other music videos in the area, or all of them, or how is that going to work? I'm not sure if we're going to shoot all of them, but definitely Innocence. Um, we're going to start shooting, I believe, in Detroit, and then do a couple shots in Farmington as well, because okay. that's where the story happened. Very good. All right, so for the concert Monday, um, how is it going to work in terms of who goes on first, how many songs, uh, how many minutes? How does that you know, work for this particular show, because there's three uh, local artists, you and Flynn Eastwood and Brittany, so how does that gonna work? I believe, I think I have about a 30 minute set. I think every artist does. Um, I'm doing songs from my album, and I'm really excited about it. I'm actually performing with my new band. New band? My new live band, all right. so it's gonna be a really cool show. Are they all uh, from the area, the people yeah. in the band? Yeah, actually three out of the four members uh, played on my record. So, oh, okay. Yeah. That's so cool. And see, you took a path, and I wanted to get into this real quick. You took a path that was a little different after American Idol. You finished second, which, how, I don't know. Second because is the best. Yes, the person that finished first was awesome. <laughs> Why his name's <laughs> just Caleb. alluded. Thank you, Caleb. <laughs> he had the rocking voice. All right, he was great. But your voice is, is not only unique, you know, I don't know if anybody sounds like it, but it's just, Thanks. it's good. Like, it's really a good voice. And, and, oh, it's, I, so we're just, I'm just, as you can tell, I'm really upset you finished second. But that's okay, because you took a, you took a path that was a little interesting. You stayed in Detroit area. You signed with a record label here. And so why did you decide to kind of go that route instead of maybe going to LA and taking on that type of challenge? Um, why? Well, we were kind of talking about this earlier, yeah. but there's, definitely two different types of scenes in the music industry that I've that I've kind of noticed in the past two years and the whole LA New York scene is very intimidating for me and I didn't feel like I could grow as an artist and evolve as an artist um, you know especially with my songwriting because that's one of the most important things that I want people to understand 
about me now going forward is that I write my own songs. Yeah, and that's <laughs> yeah, that's something that a lot of people do. They have um, songwriters for them. That's right. Awesome. Well, and you know, working with my team that I found it, it, you know, it took a while for me to actually get comfortable and understand the image and the kind of content that I wanted to put out. Um, and I wasn't really thinking about American Idol or that audience or, or anything. It's just what makes me happy and what makes me inspired. So yeah, that's why I chose to stay in Detroit. Very cool. And speaking of inspired, so we all know that at least I hope it still is. Paramore is your favorite band. Yes. Right? Okay. They always will be. <laughs> what other? Okay, so we all know that. What other? Who do you like right now, or who are your, some of your favorite bands? So besides Paramore. Um. I, recently, I've been really getting into uh, Amy Winehouse. Oh. Is one of my favorites. Uh, Lake Street Dive. They're an independent band. Okay. Um. Pretty much everyone. I love Etta James. I love all the old stuff. Um. I've just been really diving into the roots and going back to to that sort of thing just for my my songwriting so yeah find cool. inspiration exactly. from all over the place all not just genres. from re, you know recent artists mm -hmm. but going back and um you know taking ideas from older artists yeah well. very cool our last question uh you know because you are local we love that here um what are some of your favorite places that you went to growing up in the area farmington hills or detroit what are some of the hot spots you like to go to and just kind of restaurants or chill or whatever you know what do, what do you like in the area I love to go to Royal Oak um, that's one of my favorite cities ever um, me and my family would always just go out to have dinner there I mean I've lived in Farmington Hills pretty much my whole life so um, you know I, I would go to Fountain Walk with my friends <laughs> um, I'm sure a lot of people around here know Fountain Walk yep. but um, yeah me and my friends would always just go chill there um, I would go downtown a lot. Uh, Campus Marshes is a great place yeah. that me and my family would go to. So everywhere, I love I love Michigan. So. There you go. That's why she stayed. One of the other reasons she stayed. She loves Michigan. All right. So the, all the information on the concert is in the story. It's Monday night. It's gonna be awesome. So thank so you. So excited. I know it's it's gonna be fun and it's for a good cause and all the information for is an in the story. Cause. So yes. So uh, thank you very much. Thank for, you very much for having me. Appreciate it. Cool.